All right. Good morning, fifth grade. It's Monday, March 9th. I hope you guys are having a good day. Um, it's bright and early. School. Some of you are in China. Some of you are in Korea. We're all over the world still. Uh, but I think things are slowly getting back to normal. So you know the drill. Write down these in your notebook and go ahead and press pause as you do it and we'll have the answers in a moment. Okay, welcome back. All right, the first few here, we're supposed to correct these sentences. It says, don't put your feet on the furniture, said grandma, mother. So this is a quote, so we have to remember to do that. So we're going to put this in quotations and capitalize the D and don't. Uh, we have to also add the apostrophe. Don't, ooh, I got, I'm screaming this. I'm yelling this. I hit the wrong thing. Don't, don't put, now that your is wrong. That your should be, have an apostrophe and be you are, but that's wrong too. It should be your, Y-O-U-R. Don't put your feet on the furniture comma, well, we need a, and then quotation marks, said grandmother. And we need to capitalize grandmother here and put a period there. We capitalize grandmother because that's her name. And they call her grandmother. Sometimes it's just a title, but when it's an actual name, you have to capitalize it. All right, the next sentence. This doesn't look like nothing I've ever seen before. So there's a bit of a double negative here. And we're going, it's, it's a very incorrect sentence. But the first thing we need to do is capitalize the T in this. This doesn't, so doesn't here should have an apostrophe there. This doesn't look like, you can't have something look like nothing because what does nothing look like? Nothing is nothing. So we have to change nothing to anything. This doesn't look like anything, capital I, apostrophe V-E, I've seen before, period. So you can't have nothing, it should be anything. Um, it doesn't look like nothing. Um, well, what does nothing look like? We don't know. So it has to be anything if you're actually talking about something. All right, give the possessive noun, the new coat belonging to Sharon. Well, that should be... Sharon's apostrophe S. Sharon's new coat. Super duper. Number four. Choose the best word to complete the sentence. Mr. Tan gave those, these, them, their each five dollars for helping them clean out his garage. Um, the best one there would be them. So Mr. Tan gave them each five dollars for helping clean out his garage. Number five. What is the meaning of this figure of speech? You'd better button up your lip. That basically means it means to, to keep quiet. Don't talk. Keep quiet. Yep. All right, guys. That's about it for today. I hope you guys had a good day. You know, I've noticed that there's only about 13 or 14 of you actually watching these grammar videos. So I may start to make them an assignment. Uh, 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 uh. But I'll tell you whether or not I do that tomorrow. All right. See you tomorrow.